Hello. And welcome back to the Dark Mod. Reap as you sow. Yeah, right now there's too much light. I don't like it. There needs to be less light. Nothing, don't worry about it. It's very tappy up here. I don't like it. She stepped off the light on! There's no dark here. This sucks. Maybe I wanted to play pool. Did you ever think about that? No, you didn't, did you? Okay. I think it's just the one lady going back and forth here. God, it's so bright! Oh my god. Oh my god! There's... Just press myself into the corner of the room and there's... Carl, study. Please tell me I can take that with me. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Huh? Hi. I don't... I mean, I do, but... Shut up, your face. Okay. Now, while the pool table, very, very uh, pretty looking, is a waste of time. Okay. You gonna come out, lady, or what? We'll sneak behind her, grab the key and the letter, uh, and come back out by the pool. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to read the letter some other time. Huh? Huh? Hopefully there's dark in here. Oh my god! Oh, it's all shit. Got everything I needed. Well, hopefully this is dark enough. Uh, Oscar's letter, I guess. Ah, dear sir, I send you this letter as a request for aid in a delicate matter. My name is Oscar Powell, and I assure you that the rumors of my death were greatly exaggerated. I am, in fact, merely in hiding after the unfortunate incident that took the life of my father. You come highly recommended, and I trust in your complete discretion in what I am about to tell you. The incident that claimed my father and nearly myself was no accident. It was a... clumpy attempt? I have never heard that term. A clumpy attempt at an assassination. A band of pagan brutes assaulted the summer home, seeking to claim my life and that of my beloved father. And given the recent death of my beloved brother, Bernard, I know who, or rather, I know where to point the accusing finger. My sister, Alma, thrice cursed by her name, must have hired them to rid herself of us. I have no doubts to her ambition to claim the family holding. Don't come over here! Holdings, nor do I know her soul to... I'm reading, go away. To contain any compassion, but the law is blind, they say, and I am but one man in hiding. But the proof, I could challenge her and bring her to justice, or but with proof. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit hurried right now. Which is where you come in. As I am told, you are without peer in bringing light to the ugliest of truths. So I ask of you to go to the Powell Summer Home, where my beloved father and brother met their end, and find out that uh, find out the truth. With this letter, you will find a ticket to the Powell Hedge Maze, which will give you an excellent chance to enter the estate. Use any means necessary, and leave no stone unturned in this, and you shall be richly rewarded when I am restored to my rightful place at the owner of as the owner of the Powell Holdings. Yours humbly, Oscar Powell. Yours humbly, Oscar Powell. <laughs> okay, time to reload. I'm glad she was stuck in here. She's stuck in here with me. All right, we need to grab that again because it has the ticket there anyway. I was assuming that the ticket already got to us, but somehow he was able to sneak in here, even though he's supposed to be dead, and drop that off. Okay, sure. Why not? This lady's taking forever. There she is. 
Yoink. All right, I do want to see what's out in the front yard, but I also don't want to get caught, so please tell me it's at least a little dark over here. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> this is more, honestly, this is more like a puzzle game than a stealth game right now. All right, now that she's gone around the corner. And again, I'm going to be quick saving the hell out of this just so I can get through it. She goes out front. Uh, all right, I want to see what's out there. Ah, uh, it's just me. Shut up. How you doing? I want to know if I'm wasting my time, because there's a lot of areas here where you're just wasting your time. Hmm. Can I climb up this drain pipe? No, I cannot. I've climbed up drain pipes in the past as a different character. What was help? All right, so I need to get that. And that's it. All right, fair enough. Uh, key to Carl's study. Where would Carl's study be? Okay. All right, well, I got everything up here in the house. I think some of these other paintings I might be able to get. I need, might need to get, but I have enough money. Um, oh, that might be the study right there. Get out of the way. Are you supposed to be using the house bathroom, sir? I am assuming that you have one in your barracks that you should be. He's going that way. Should use. No, wait, that's. Huh? Where am I supposed to go? You would think a study would be in the house, but I guess they are a large estate, so. Also, didn't even come in here. Ooh, almost diary, huh? Hi! I, I, I'm very stick like in appearance. Alright! Almost diary. <laughs> 11th of February, 1711. How completely unfair this world is. Simply because I was born as a daughter and not a son. I have no rights at all when it comes to the farm. I may as well be an ornament that the father keeps around to gawk at, like a peacock or a mounted stag's head. Oscar and Bernard, of course, can always push and talk and pester about our family's heritage. I wish they would leave it alone. What matter? What matter how things... Okay. Have come to be how they are, so long as they are. They should just be grateful for the inheritance that awaits them, since the Builder knows I will see none of it. 3rd of March, 1711. At last, I managed to get Clarissa to come out of the house and spend some time with me last night. Her husband is out of town and good riddance as far as I'm concerned. Ever since she got married, she's been spending all of her time with her darling. I will have no such issues when I become a wife. I will not be so quick to let my friends drown in this cursed sea of rumors. The truth is that I'm grateful for Calissa's support. There are so many people saying things about the farm and my father and my family that sometimes I scarcely feel as if I can go, if I can go daylight. I'm assuming she means go into daylight. Clarissa reprimanded me for my shame, saying that she is jealous of my family and how prosperous we have become through our hard work and perseverance. She told me to be proud of my father, no matter what other people say. It would be much easier to take her advice if the other woman didn't give, us, give me such scathing glares when I walk by. 5th of June, 1712. Father's birthday was awkward. Father is usually so calm and polite, but seeing his, seeing his, exactly, siblings and cousin always seemed to bring out the worst in him. He nearly came close to striking Aunt Pertia, that's a name, when she made a snide remark on his wealth being made from dung. Not that she didn't deserve it, the self-centered shrew. Worse yet, Father and his brothers started bickering about the farms again. 
Karl remark after Karl remark what a good heir Oscar would make. And as if that wasn't enough, we had the joy of having Bernard show my show up to, during dessert. I can speak, I can. As if he gives a horse's ass about father or his birthday. Couldn't that brat have stayed off in Havershire? That's a name. Drinking instead? He seemed awfully pleased with himself, swaggering like some swashbuckler and presenting some old bottle of wine to father. They shared a drink of it alongside Oscar, and for a few for a moment I feared there'd be another fight about the inheritance. But Oscar seemed rather nonchalant about it, even wishing the best of luck in governing the farm. Father seemed to like the wine as well, so I guess some good came out of this all. 10th of June, 1712. Disaster. Complete and utter disaster. There's no better word for it, and not for lack of trying on my part. How else can I describe this? What word would better suit an attack? Nay, a raid on our family property. I had word of it just this morning. Two constables coming knocking to tell me the news. Father and Oscar had been out on the farm enjoying a, hunt a hunting trip and overseeing the harvest. Apparently, some pagan tribe had gotten into their head to raid our lands and turn it into a bloody mess. The farm is intact, save for a few failed attempts at burning it. But Oscar is presumed dead, and Father is in shambles over it all. I fear he might turn to drinking if I cannot console him. Damn my oh-so-helpful brother Bernard. How convenient that he's off in Havershire yet again. 12th of June, 1712. I was going to go out with Clarissa last night. But at the last moment, she sent me a message saying that she couldn't come to meet me. The message was so curt and hasty. On the whole, it was very rude. It, it seems that even she doesn't want to be around me and my family anymore. Be proud in spite of what people say. Indeed! How hypocritical. Since I was already ready to go out, I took a walk through the parks in Bridgeport as I used to do when I was a girl. They are just as lovely as ever, though their beauty was spoiled by some girls chattering about how our farm and our family is doomed. Then they looked straight at me and went stark white, dashing off as fast as their dresses allowed. How insolent! I thought the young ladies were supposed to respect their elders. Doomed. What a silly idea. 16th of June, 1712. Father, Father, what have you done? What have you done in your sorrow? Father, he... Father has disappeared. He spent another weekend at our summer home, supposedly to see the farmlands now that Oscar... Well, Oscar hasn't been... Even with no body, the constables have begun to close their investigation, saying that he must have been slain in the attack. Father won't hear anything of it, but I fear that Oscar truly did perish. And now, Father may have done something inconceivably rash. All this past week, when he was drunk and thought I wasn't listening, he would mumble about a noose. 1st of, of July 1712. Father, Father, I love you so much, so why can you not return to us? Please, I beg of you, do not go into the earth. Don't go. It trails off into illegible writing. 8th of August, 1712. They say he's dead, but I know that he isn't. He's just out there looking for Oscar, and he'll be back soon. I know it. I know it. It'll be back soon. I know it. 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 20, 25th? 21st? Sure. Of September, 1712. I am myself again. I have had a time of mental softness, but the builder has seen me through it. Father and Oscar have died. Their souls have gone to the Golden City. I have accepted the fact... I moved on. Yes. 
11th of January, 1713. Bernard thinks he can have these farmlands. He thinks that he has a right to them. But I know that he does not. I know that Father saw him as a disgrace, as a failure. I may not be Father's son, but I will paint myself a savage and run in, run wild before I see that man drag the Powell name into the mud. Perhaps yourself, or brother, for I... For I aim to fight tooth and nail for the rights of this farm. A few pages pass containing nothing but simple progress reports on the legal battle for the Powell lands. Alma Powell seems to be slowly losing to her brother Bernard. 23rd of April, 1714. There are times when I sit and wonder, just wonder, what really happened that night when the pagans raided the farms? Ever since then, there has been nothing but disaster for our family. One contrived horror disaster after another. First, Oscar, then Father, then my mind, and now Bernard. I did not wish for him to hold the rights to our lands, nor did I even like him. But I did not wish for this to happen. To have him disappear a mere week after being named Lord of these lands. A few mere days, and he vanishes. Not even his whore of a wife knowing where he is. <sighs> Hilda, save me. What dark forces haunt our family? 5th of May, 1714. Well, here I am. The sole survivor of the Powell family, and, at long last, I am the heir to the lands. Lady of the Powell estates, and... Alone. My siblings and my parents are all dead, leaving me with nothing but bickering aunts and greedy cousins. But I will not break, nor cry. I wanted to preserve father's lands, and I will do so. I will marry, and I will produce an heir to rule in my brother's stead. I will make sure that father's legacy lives on. 12th of June, 1714. For a man that ruled these lands in a mere week, Bernard sure left a mess. The farm runs, more or less, but the irrigation tunnels have been sealed off. Out of respect for the lives lost down there, says Captain Lucirio, builders brass on that. I will see the farm restored to glory. I will see the irrigation tunnels reopened and supervised. 21st of June, 1714. Builder, help me. This place is truly cursed. No sooner do I get a gaggle of hirelings on reopening the irrigation tunnels before the whole thing falls apart. The men come rushing out like frightened children, screaming about some monstrous presence haunting the tunnels. It even claimed the builder's priests and went down to supervise the work. It even claimed, or I even claimed. I, okay. But at least some good came out of all of this. One of the men uncovered a secret room in the control room for the water wheel. And Builder, bless me, it is an old study of my father's. Perhaps now I can finally discover what happened to him. What made him destroy himself. I must study his notes carefully, dig deep into his old journal. And for now, I will have to seal off the irrigation tunnels before I can call in a proper exorcism. I've hidden the key down in father's study to avoid being tempted. Okay, so that's how we're going to get in there. We know where Father's study is, and we know our way forward. The thing is, it doesn't seem like Alma killed her family at all. She's literally the last last person standing. And lost her mind? I mean, she did lose her mind, but it was after her father and brother, quote-unquote, were killed. Uh, well, I guess, quote-unquote, killed. Her other brother is still alive. So... I don't know how it's a secret, uh, secret room when it's got a door, but okay. Gotta get back downstairs. Nice and peacefully. Let's close that in case people start asking questions. All the way down. Don't tap. Don't tap. Be a good little investigator. 
There's nothing here! Except for me waving my hands and saving as my hands came down. Seriously, dude. Carl's study. But yeah, it just seems like she had the same problems that most women had born back during this time. I guess this is the real world and not some um, thief fantasy world. All right. Well, here's father's study. <sighs> Fun times are going to be had by not me, that's for damn sure. Oh, dear God. Pagan scriptures. Okay. Song of the Sacrifices. Chill is the word of the night. That's not a pagan voice at all. Whatever. Hell will never shine so bright. You know what? I don't see anything in here. Expert of the tales of the awakening. And thus, Trudelia opened her eyes and saw the beauty of the land. She saw the new bronze of the sheep, and she saw the hissing of the snakes. Trudelia treasured the land. Hans was happy to have Trindil. He fought alongside her in the battle against the seasons. But violence is fertile, is futile rather, against the might of the creator, and so they cherish the nature. This doesn't sound like pagans at all. Circles of time. So it's talking about seasons and time and aggregory? Agri Allegory. Only a man of greed will suffer the torments of frost. Only a man with a friend with the purest of hearts will be able to escape the chilling torment the thief will get. Wait, what? Only a man with the gift of, a, of sacrifice will be able to save the tormented. Only the sacred words will save the tormented. Is this place actually haunted? Perhaps, perhaps? Torn piece from Carl's diary. 1712, June 16th. Makateri, scum. They may have come for my blood, but I still stand tall. They may have tried to burn my lands, but they still prosper. They may have come to reclaim their precious Lady Summer, but she is mine. Mine and no one else's. My children may be a useless gaggle and may last my last memento of my dear Hilda may be gone, but Lady Summer still smiles at me even with those two icy blue eyes of hers. Were they always a part of the statue? So she, he has a statue who he thinks is the Lady of the Summer. Did he steal that from the uh, pagans? Or was her name? Just Precious Lady Summer. So I'm assuming that's the lady that's talked in talked about in the pagan scriptures that I just read. I mean, why else would he have them? Uh, and here's his diary. Minus the one that we just saw. Does this mean that he's not dead, by the way? 1694, August 21. Why are the dates different in this one? So this one is year, month, day, and hers was day, month, year. What? Cursed my rotten father and his rotten line. Oh, wait, no, this is one of the sons. My bad. Not only did he have to kick me out of the house for daring to suggest we sell the farmlands, now he had to go and die on me as well, leaving me the owner of his lands and, a bloody course, all his debts. My days as a guide and adventurer are over, finished. No more will I travel to distant cities or sail uncharted seas, all thanks to these rotten farmlands that I now have to tend to. At this rate, I'll have to take up guiding nobles through the lands just to pay off the creditors. Oh, Hilda, grant me the strength to see this through. Or is this their father? I'm, I'm confused. Maybe his father died. That's what, that's, yeah, that's gotta be what it is. Because just look at the dates. 1700, March 16th. Home at last, but not a day too soon. The wild lands of Kimpul may hold treasury and wonders, but home has something beyond even that. A warm bed, Hilda. Oh, how I've longed for a warm embrace these past two months. But this voyage paid off quite well, quite well indeed, and a good bit of coin in guiding Lord Julian and his peacocks through Kemper, enough to buy the farm another year to get back on its feet. But that's a small thing compared to what I found on my way home. A marble statue of a maiden, her smile gentle, and the urn at her side filled with corn and fruit. 
Oh, true, true. Some pagan brutes were safeguarding it, using it as some sort of altar or whatnot. They called themselves the Makatari, or some such, and supposedly the statue was an avatar of their Lady Summer. Pagan nonsense. They refused to trade, no matter what I offered, so I returned in the night and liberated it. Such a beautiful statue shouldn't be soiled by brutes after all. So he did steal from the pagans. And it's a season goddess, I'm guessing? Maybe a fertility goddess? 1701, June 1st. The money earned from the last expedition already gone. Creditors took almost all of it, demanding more than the usual fee. But I had to pay them, else they'd have taken my statue as payment. Hilla, you may call me a fool, but you'll be glad that we saved the statue. It's my golden goose this lady summer. All these years, the farmers have been have been try and barren. I'm assuming that means dry and barren. Yet this year is different. Builder bless us. The lands have become fertile. No, that's too weak a word. They're flourishing, all but shooting up carrots and potatoes. At last, I may be able to turn a profit out of this. And we saw the change in his logbook. 1705, October 5, 5th, rather. The farmlands continue to prosper, their harvests not only plentiful, but so lush in taste that they fetch their weight in gold. News of my goods are spreading and demand is beginning to grow beyond what I can supply. The creditors have all but been paid off, leaving me plenty of time for my Hilda. And all thanks to this statue of mine, my Lady Summer. She truly is my golden goose. I begun to dig up some books and scriptures on paganistic lore, hoping to find out just what significance this statue holds. It'll be a nice to know the history of my little piece of art, after all. What was the name of the tribe that I liberated from? Mulki, Maki, Makatari, something. 1705, November 8th. My studies have yielded quite some results. From an old tomb on collected lore, I... It seems that the Malakari, Malakatari rather, worshipped her as some sort of life-bringing deity, a bringer of harvests and good fortune, and a daughter of Mother Winter. <laughs> Such irony that she now brings me luck and good fortune. 1705, November 14th. Ah, I knew it! Hilda called me a fool, but the ledgers proved me right. This beautiful statue of mine is no mere decoration. It truly is a, a magical artifact. According to the ledgers, the farmlands were dry and barren until the very year I brought it here. The very next year, Lady Summer made them fertile like never before. I shall have to erect something in her honor. A hedge maze, perhaps. Some pages have been torn out. We found what was torn out. And then I'm thinking this is his daughter. Father, 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 look what a good daughter I have become. I have found you. You're in the Winterland, aren't you? I'll come find you. Come bring you home. So she's believing the tales. I don't know how literal the tales are, but we see the fruits, literal, of its labors. Seems like the statue is imbued with valuable gems. Steal them. I don't think so. This place is cursed. Get to know the whereabouts of Carl Powell. Find his ring as proof. Would that be in here or near the statue or in the hedge? Well, in the hedge maze near the statue. The maze is famous for its embellished statues. Oh, yeah, I already got, got that one. Okay. Well, we, oops, wrong button. We found evidence about what's going on. This is a key to the irrigation tunnels. How do I get to the irrigation tunnels? It's just the, yeah, it was just the door right outside of here. Okay. Sorry, I'm, it's, it's, it's been a while. It's, it's, been a, it's been a while. Almost five minutes since I last played. Okay, there we go. All right, we can get in the irrigation tunnels, but... We will have to explore down here, which is hopefully devoid of life, because they're supposed to be locked off anyway and nobody's supposed to be down here. We'll um, look in the tunnels and see why it seems to be so cursed. But we'll have to do that next time. 
But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag. Signing off. You can. Oh god! Uh. Close the damn door, please. Oh god! It scared the crap out of me. Wasn't expecting that. Come in. I mean, don't come in.